Imagine taking your family to an amusement park, hoping for a day filled with fun and laughter, only for it to turn into a nightmare. That's exactly what happened at Kansas's Schlitterbahn water park when a 10-year-old Caleb Schwab was decapitated on the world's largest water slide in one of history's most terrible and shocking amusement park incidents. Caleb Schwab, the 10-year-old son of Kansas State Representative Scott Schwab, died while riding Verrucht on August 7, 2016. Before we get into this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel Infamous Incidents and turn on that post notification for similar content. Now let's get started. Water parks originally appeared in the late 1940s and early 1950s. The United States alone has over 1,000 water parks, with dozens more opening each year. Verhacht was one of the world's highest water slide and 169 feet tall. Riders hit speeds of up to 70 miles per hour as they went down the almost vertical 17-story chute. Visitors worldwide went to Schlitterbahn Water Park in Kansas City, Kansas, to experience all of the thrills. It was a sunny Sunday afternoon on August 7, 2016, with a pleasant 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Caleb Schwab was 10 years old when he started the 264-step journey to the top of Ragd, the world's biggest water slide. The park was giving away free entrance and buffet lunch to Kansas political leaders and their family, and the Schwabs, who resided nearby in Olathe, were thrilled. The Kansas City Schlitterbahn is one of the country's five Schlitterbahn parks. An estimated 2 million tourists visit the parks yearly to ride the slides, zip through the tube chutes, and float and swim in man-made rivers and pools. Schlitterbahn is an aquatic version of Disney World for the most devoted fans, offering something for everyone, from vast playgrounds for children to swim-up bars for adults. Jeff Henry, 63, was the Schlitterbahn Parks' principal visionary and was regarded as the water park business genius. He frequently stated that his life's objective was to make Schlitterbahn customers happy, to put a smile on their faces, to give them a thrill or two. Riders gave it rave reviews when it first debuted to the public in July of 2014. By the time Caleb climbed Verruckt steps, 100,000 adrenaline addicts had already ridden off it. According to park regulations, a Verruckt rider had to be at least 54 inches or 4 feet and 6 inches tall. Caleb weighed 72 pounds and was 4 feet 11 inches tall. He told his parents that he had to give it a go. Caleb could see Kansas City, 16 miles distant from the top of a platform. An employee used a Velcro belt and put shoulder straps on to secure him to his seat. The gate swung open and the conveyor belt underneath the raft started moving. Caleb felt as if he had fallen off of a skyscraper. The raft flew down the first hill and then up the second, 55-foot slope. Instead of staying in its fiberglass flume and climbing the slope, the raft soared into the air. Caleb was instantly decapitated as his head collided with a net and a semicircular metal hoop that arced over the top of the slide, slicing through his neck. Everyone began to scream as his body sank towards the runout pool. Onlookers kept Caleb's mother from watching the incident, which one witness described as a nightmare beyond comprehension. The Henry settled into a tiny house on the land and renamed it to the Lander Resort. Bob built two slides that dropped visitors into the Comal River to attract more customers. Jeff, the middle kid, had no desire to pursue a formal education. After high school, he worked for his father and operated a video arcade bar in San Marcos. When he realized that some of the people going down his father's slides were hitting the water too hard, he devised a water break, a dip at the end of the slide that slowed the guests down. Five days after Caleb's passing, his burial was held at the Life Mission Church in Olaid. Schlitterbahn made no public comments, but spokesperson Winter Prosapio stated that the company was deeply and intensely saddened for the Schwab family and all of those affected by the tragic accident. Reporters in Kansas City began investigating the safety of Schlitterbahn's verrucked water slide, which they discovered to be self-inspected. Investigators and detectives from the Kansas City Police Department, the Kansas Bureau of Investigation, and the Kansas Attorney General's Office arrived at Schlitterbahn to interview Tyler Miles, 29, who had worked at the park since 2013 and had progressed from construction worker to lifeguard to director of operations. Later, 
Investigators discovered that Schlitterbahn staff were required to file frequent ops reports regarding the rights they oversaw, and that Verrucht had issues that were never made public. Riders claimed that they were wounded while their rafts were still in the chute in five of the accidents. Investigators looked into the Groves incident at Verrucht and decided that Miles avoided or delayed completing repairs that would have placed the ride out of commission. Furthermore, an engineering firm hired Jeff and Schooley to perform accelerometer tests on Verrucht's raft issued a report indicating that if the combined weight of three passengers in a raft was between 400 and 550 pounds, the raft had a chance of flying off the second hill. Jeff wished to return to Verrugt, which had closed shortly after Caleb's death, to reconstruct the tragic ride. Prosecutors of the Kansas Attorney General's office convinced a judge that the ride was vital evidence that should not be tampered with. Jeff intended to recreate the tragic ride exactly as it happened, with the help of a team of independent experts. Three men have been charged criminally in connection with Caleb Schwab's murder and a 20-count indictment alleges that the water park administrators ignored the warnings, destroyed documents, avoided basic technical faults, and proceeded with a grand opening regardless. The owners were accused of being aware of the ride's major safety dangers and of horrifically injuring more than a handful of other authors before Caleb's death. If Schlitterbahn, Kansas knew that the rafts on Verrucht were prone to flying airborne during the ride, the park's team would oppose the charges, and whistleblowers would come out to testify. After Caleb's passing in February 2019, the Schlitterbahn Partners' criminal case had its charges withdrawn. Jeffrey Henry was ordered to walk free, and the Schlitterbahn Park in Kansas City will reopen as soon as three days after the boy died. Schlitterbahn and other corporations involved in the design of the building of Verrucht decided to pay Caleb's family $20 million in compensation by 2017. The two sisters who had ridden behind Caleb and sustained facial injuries were also compensated. Jeff and his siblings made no public explanation for what had occurred. Caleb's parents' emotions show that while they appear to be helping each other keep together as a family, their grief is far from gone. And with that, we have come to the end of today's video. We hope that Caleb's story has shed some light on the importance of safety regulations in amusement parks. No family should ever have to experience the unimaginable tragedy that Caleb's did. What steps do you think amusement parks should take to ensure the safety of their visitors? Do you think enough is being done? Or do you think that we could be doing more? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in our next video.